Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome to the Mommy Archives. I'm about to do some food prep and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. I picked up 40 pounds of chicken breast from Zaycon Fresh and 40 pounds is a lot of meat y'all. So rather than just putting it all in the freezer, I thought this would be a good time just to go ahead and make some prepare ahead meals, things that I can throw in the crock pot really easily. So like I said, I picked up my chicken from Zaycon Fresh. Um, they do like a local pickup thing where you get farm fresh, high quality meats at really, really good prices. So I just did my first pickup for Zaycon Fresh and it was super easy. There was nobody in front of me. I just pulled right up and the guy asked my last name. He asked me to pop my trunk and slipped it in and so it took like no time. It's actually a lot easier than grocery shopping. The chicken breasts are like $1.89 a pound usually and when you sign up they constantly, I swear, I'm always getting coupon codes and promo codes to use on the various different meats they have. They have pork and beef and even shrimp and salmon and things like that. All different sorts of things. Um, for wholesale prices but you're getting like direct from farmer meat. So yeah they were kind enough to invite me to try them out and like I said 40 pounds is a lot of meat so I thought what better time than to make some freezer meals. So if you're wondering what 40 pounds of chicken looks like it's all packed in here and look at the size of those chicken breasts oh my word. So I have a whole list of freezer meals that I found on Pinterest and let's go ahead and get started. I got all my other ingredients yesterday so I'd be prepped and ready to go. So here's the list of meals that I wrote. I'm going to create duplicates of some things. I didn't put chicken in anything because it would get really re redundant. But <laughs> um, I have a recipe for honey sriracha chicken, ginger chicken with snow peas, apricot ginger with green beans, lemon garlic dump chicken, Hawaiian style chicken, balsamic Italian chicken, cilantro lime chicken, lemon ginger chicken, soy honey garlic. I did soy in parentheses because anytime a recipe calls for soy, I use coconut amino aminos. Uh, chipotle lime, uh, chicken taco bowls, and honey mustard chicken. So let's get to it. Hey, princess. Hi, you got a messy face. Rowan's having a snack while I do this. And Kennedy is actually with my parents this week, so um, should be a little bit easier <laughs> to do all this meal prep with just one kid instead of two. <laughs> so I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to handle all of the other ingredients first and then go back and handle the chicken. So I'm just going to label these. and then add the other ingredients. Some of them need chopped veggies, so I think I'll do that later. And so I'm gonna start with honey mustard chicken, and I'm just gonna eyeball most of this, because if I try to like get measuring cups out <laughs> and do that for everything, that would take a really long time. I'm not gonna say the ingredients of each and every one of these things because that will take forever is what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'll figure out how I'll edit this later. Probably just eating. I'll uh, speed it up rather. And so there's the first one. Now let's keep going.
had to take a short break to get Roan down for her nap, so I did that after I got all the spices and oils and things like that in the bags. And then I needed to charge my battery, so while I did that, I went ahead and got all the produce prepped uh, because I'm trying to move as quickly as I can. I do have chicken. I need to get in these things. And so here are all the bags. And so I'm going to go through and figure out um, the chicken that needs to be added and the lemon juice and green beans and pineapple and, <laughs> you know, all this stuff and put it where it belongs. I made... A little list here so I didn't have to go back onto Pinterest and reference each and every one I just wrote down what needed to be added to each thing so let's get to it so I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here but I decided to hold off on uh, the produce and just added things like the lemon juice and things like that um, and the ginger and the things that are supposed to marinate the chicken and now I'm going to go through I wrote down how much chicken needs to be added to each bag so I have them all lined up and I want to make sure to get the chicken coated and then I'll go in and add the extra produce and stuff like that. meal prep with me. I'll leave uh, links down below to all the recipes I was inspired from. Some of them I adapted a little bit and some of them um, I like doubled or tripled or whatever to suit my needs. But I'm excited to have all these meals ready to go for my family now. A lot of them should give us leftovers as well, so that's awesome. So I'm going to get all this stuff put away, but then I still need to section out the rest of the chicken. So I'll insert some footage here so you guys can see um, the rest of the chicken I have in addition to all these meals that I prepped. Obviously, it's a lot of chicken people, so um, we are good to go on chicken for quite a long time. Again, I'm gonna leave a link to Zaycon Fresh down below if you wanna check them out. They cut out the middleman, they do direct from farm to consumer, so that's how they're able to get you cheap prices for really high quality, fresh meat. So um, be sure to check them out if you're interested in uh, purchasing meat this way. It's a great way to save some money on some high quality meat. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite freezer meal recipe is so maybe I can try it next time. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video.